What happens when we borrow energy from the future? Have you thought about it? Have you noticed that every time you finally get a day off, if you're one of those, I work 60 hour a week kind of people, um, I like to push myself and only get four to five hours sleep a night sort of people, even if you need six or eight. Um, have you noticed what happens the first time you get a break? Your body crashes. How many people do you know that are like sick for their first three days off in forever? I think we borrow energy from the future. I think anytime we're dealing with something that's really, really hard to do, that extra strength comes from time we haven't lived yet. And the minute our body recognizes we have an opportunity to slow down, everything goes crashing. Like our system just goes into shutdown mode and it kind of quits on us. And I think that's why self-care is so important. I think it's really important to recognize when you're pushing yourself too hard. It's going to catch up. Pacing ourselves, listening to our bodies sooner when they say to rest, slowing down, um, doing small things that make us feel good is really important. We can't go full throttle all the time. It will eventually demand our bodies will eventually demand that we slow right down. And whether you like it or not, you're going to be forced to take a break. The easiest way to avoid this is to see it coming. When you're starting to feel that little bit worn out, take it as a cue. Find an extra hour for yourself. Find an extra two hours for yourself. Try and take something off of your calendar, your schedule that isn't urgent, important, and shove it down um, on the list for a little bit of time. Prioritize self-care. You cannot run on empty for forever. <laughs> Eventually it's gonna catch up.